This video covers installation procedures for Thermon SETK splice connection termination kits, with Thermon heating cables shown. Receiving, storing, and handling. Inspect materials for damage incurred during shipping. Report any damages to the carrier for settlement. Identify parts against the packing list to ensure the proper type and quantity have been received. And, store in a dry location. These are the recommended tools for installation of the SCTK Splice Connection Termination Kits. Individuals installing these products are responsible for complying with all applicable safety and health guidelines. Proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be utilized during installation. Contact Thermon if you have any additional questions. Important! Prior to terminating with SETK kit, heating cable must be properly installed within expediter assembly, and mounted to pipe. See Terminator and or Trace Plus installation procedures for expediter mounting details. Remove heating cable over jacket and separate metallic braid. Cut and remove 76 mm or 3 inches of heating cable over jacket. Caution, do not cut metallic braid. Using a screwdriver, separate braid strands at edge of over jacket and pull cable through opening in braid. Twist braid into pigtail. Trim ends of braid and slide ground sleeve over braid. Cut and remove primary insulation jacket. This is only required on BSX and RSX cables. Remove 51 mm or 2 inches of primary insulation jacket. Matrix removal for BSX, RSX, HTSX, KSX, and VSX cables. Cut and remove a 4 mm strip of conductive matrix between the conductors. Caution, do not cut bus wire strands. Install power boot on heating cable. Apply a liberal amount of RTV sealant inside of the boot and on cable. Slide boot on to end of cable. Heating element removal for HPT and FP cables. Cut and remove 51 mm or 2 inches of primary insulation jacket. Note. Bus connection must be no more than 50 mm or 2 inches from pipe as addressed in connection kit procedures. Cut and remove fiberglass overlay and heating element. Push any remaining heating element wire under the primary insulation jacket. Cut and remove pairing jacket. Remove 13 mm or 1 half inch of insulation from bus wire ends. Install power boot on heating cable. Apply a liberal amount of RTV sealant to inside of end cap and onto cable. Slide end cap onto end of cable. Completed installation of SETK, splice connection termination kits. For additional information on this product, visit us on the web at thermon.com.